Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge, and today I'm bringing you another pickup for slash comparison video. If you follow me on my social medias, then you'd know that I treated myself to an early birthday present, sometimes early March. My birthday's on the 16th of March, and so I needed this, but well, I didn't need it. I really wanted it for a very long time now. Last year, when I copped a different colorway of them, it was great and all but ideally I would have preferred this colour and I finally were able to get my hands on them. And that is the tan version of the Saint Laurent Paris Wyatt with the harness. Absolute beauty. Now because I did a pickup video on the other colourway last year, I decided not to do like an in-depth review. Instead, because there are a few design changes and I've read on a lot of forums and on certain YouTube comments and on my social medias as to what the difference were between the Spring Summer 16 version of the Wyatt and the, well, the previous versions. No, I was getting to that point. Either way, rather than me talking in depth about the shoe, I'm just going to do a comparison between this version and the previous version, which was that, this guy. So, boom, as you can see, side by side. Let's just talk about this for a second, though. All right, so first up, you know what these look like. Suede, 100% calf skin. You've got a harness here with the clips here. A zip that goes the side, concealed, hidden, which again is a topic that I'm going to talk about later on. 1.6 inches stacked heel in terms of branding, very minimal, just on the inside. It's a Salon Bali and at the bottom. And as far as I'm aware, in terms of detailed anyway, that's about it. It's the, the official colour for this, I believe, is called the tobacco. Let me just check on the website because I don't want to give you the wrong information. So yeah, this is a classic wire 40 harness boot in tobacco suede. And that's pretty much it. If you follow my boy Alex Maragakis, he also did an unboxing pickup video on these. I believe you also had a lookbook. If I can find them, I'll leave them in the description box down below. But in terms of comparison now, I frequent a few forums. Forums? That is how you say it, right? Yeah. I frequent a few forums and on my social medias I got asked about this colorway and the fact that supposedly the Spring Summer 16 they kind of went back to having a slimmer shaft and leg opening, so boot opening if you want to call it. As you can see, well it's a bit hard to see but as you can see if I'm just literally without any force I can easily pop the Spring Summer 16, okay maybe not so easily but I can pop the Spring Summer 16 boot inside my full winter 15 edition. So they have brought back a slimmer shaft which I know that a lot of the SLP enthusiasts and the ones that have purchased it from full winter 13 were looking for and asking for for a very long time. Another detail that I find different between them two at least in that area is the fact that the Spring Summer 16 now comes with a pull tab which is located on the inside of the boot. Now me personally I don't use the pull tab when putting it on just because I'm sure it isn't but it feels very flimsy and I, I just feel like it's asking for danger in the sense of me pulling using this and then this just coming apart so I just do the traditional sort of holding it here at times I might slip my finger in at times I might pull using this but for the most part it's just in here now I don't know whether this is BS but me personally I find that the zip on the spring summer 16 glides a lot more smoothly than the four winter 15 and that might be due to the fact that I've worn these quite a bit obviously and this is still a relatively fresh new pair but I just find that the zip works more smoothly I don't know maybe as I just said it is due to the wear the zip is still concealed with some extra suede fabric now I believe I could be wrong here the full winter 13 edition had exposed zips and for some reason some of enthusiasts absolutely love that now me personally I prefer it to be concealed like it is now I just don't like to see too much hardware on boots and they've got enough going on as it is already um, what else is new? The last seems to be the same. It is the same size. This They were both a 40. As you can see, I have yet to add a rubber sole on this pair, which I got yeah a little over two weeks ago. I've worn it a fair few times already. Oh, there is a major difference in the suede that they have used. Whereas in the full, well, whereas in the colorway, in this colorway, the walnut sort of brown colorway, the suede is very soft, I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up from the camera, but the suede is very soft, it brushes nicely, whereas on the tobacco version, the suede is almost brushed up against us, so if you go down that way, you'll see more grains, oh, again, I might need to do some close-ups here, but you'll see more grains here, and then if you brush it the other way, it's even more grain here, so, I don't know what it is, I kind of like it, because as I mentioned before, I like, especially these boots, I really want them to like beat them up, wear them heavily, 
uh, have some scalps here and there. Obviously you do want to keep them in shape and in relatively nice condition, hence why I have a shoe tree in there. But I do want to see, I do want to leave some marks that I've worn it and that makes it unique to me. Um, what else is there? Obviously the metal hardware changes, but I think that's on a seasonal basis anyway, that the tobacco comes with more of a grassy tone, whereas the brown one came with a more silvery finish. And that is it, it was a very quick video. I mean, I wasn't expect, oh, and obviously the heel, brown here, black here, but again, that's just to do with their colors and not a seasonal change. So that is it for the comparison section of this video. I'm gonna chuck these on on feet, show you guys how they look. Absolutely beautiful shoes, man. I fucking love them. Whether you wear them with black jeans, wash jeans, blue jeans, light blue, they literally fill the spot on all of them. There's only one more pair of Wyatt shoes that I'm looking to buy, and that is the black leather with either the chain or the studs. I'm not too fussy. Ideally, I would prefer the chain, which is currently out this season. But even if I was to get the studs, I'd be happy. And then that is my Saint Paris Wyatt. Harness boot collection complete to the fullest. Thank you very much for watching this brief video, but hopefully you found it helpful. Quick note as well, as I mentioned previously, my birthday is on the 16th of March, and I am I'm gonna put out there my goal. Ideally, initially my goal was to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of March. We're relatively close to 10,000 and I don't know, I just want to see if, we can, if we're able to push it for the 16th of March. If we can get 10,000 by 16th of March, then my Q&A that has been asked by pretty much everyone will be dropped. So I'll do a separate video for that, asking you guys a question and I know already what the number one question will be. How do you make your money? What do you do for a living? So that is that announcement. Um, what else is there to say? Thank you man, genuinely, I appreciate it so much. I know that the channel, I mean, keeps growing and yeah, thank you very much, genuinely. Have a beautiful day, take care, peace. Favorite day, only because it's pretty much what we're on a day-to-day -day basis. We're bringing it old school with one of Leah's oldest appearance celebrities have been wearing as of recently. So if you want to try that whole gaucher silhouette without spending...